Good evening, everyone. I'm Lauren Cottrell, and welcome into your KLBK Sports Connection. Texas Tech men's basketball took home the season sweep over West Virginia Saturday after a 60-53 win in Morgantown. The Red Raiders faced some injuries to key players. Adonis Arms was injured during an attempted layup halfway through the second half. While he did not return to the game Saturday, he took to Twitter earlier today say he was going to be just fine. Terrence Shannon Jr. was also injured after a dunk attempt and left the game in the first half. But this story has a happy ending, of course, as Shannon returned in the second half and ended up scoring seven points for the Red Raiders. Here's head coach Mark Adams on his gutty performance. I think he was he was in pain, but he was also, I think, scared at, at the same time. And you know, it happens a lot of these guys when they have those really bad falls that they see so many other, they've had other friends they've witnessed that have, that have fallen and fallen hard like that. And, haven't been at recovery and they've been season ending sometimes. So I think there was just fear and then he got back in the dressing room and was able to uh, recover and, and he could have stayed out. He won't go in. With a weak start by the Red Raiders and multiple injuries, forward Bryson Williams was forced to step up to the plate like he has many times before this season. Williams led the Red Raiders to victory Saturday, completing the game with 15 points, 10 of which came from the second half. After the game, viewers were interested in what changed between the first and second half for Texas Tech. Here's what Williams had to say. The uh, main thing we adjusted to is we knew that the rest, were, that we figured out the rest was going to let us play. I mean, they was, uh, they weren't really blowing their whistles like that. And I mean, we, we had, in the first half, I felt like we were driving in, looking for those foul calls and things like that. We weren't getting them. So, second half, we just talked about. I mean, we got to drive in there, not expecting no calls, just going in there to finish, and uh, whatever happens, happens. Texas Tech women's hoops were also on the road Saturday. After defeating them earlier in the season, the Lady Raiders fell to the number 25 ranked Kansas State, 82-75. to Vivian Gray had herself a night in the Little Apple, putting up a season-high 36 points. But it was no match for Ayoka Lee and the Wildcats. Head coach Krista Gerlich tips her hat to Lee and Gray's performance on Saturday. Obviously, um, Lee is a, is a big problem, right? She's, she's having a great year. Um, every year that I've watched her play, I think she's gotten better and better, and um, it's really difficult if she catches the basketball. You know, you got to keep her from catching the basketball, and um, we didn't do that tonight, and so she had a big night. Um, but I thought that our kids really responded. I thought Vivian Gray was an All-American tonight um, in every sense of the word, um, and I thought that we had a lot of kids just battle through. Well, it's always a battle in the Big 12 for uh, men's and women's, so uh, best of luck to them this week as well. Yes, best of luck. Thanks so much, Lauren. We'll be right back with more KLB.